Hello, in this video we're going to look at a monopoly that makes zero economic profit. We're going to look both at the numerical and graphical solution. Here is the monopolist demand, Q equals 100 minus P, and the firm's cost of production. We want to solve and then graph the profit maximizing solution in a well-labeled diagram with all the relevant curves. First thing we're going to do is find the inverse demand. We're going to take this demand up here, this demand equation, and solve it for P. So we're going to get P as a function of quantity. So doing that, price equals 100 minus Q. Our next step is to set up our profit equation, which is revenue minus cost. Revenue is price times quantity, and price times quantity right here minus the cost. For P, I'm going to plug in this 100 minus Q, so I'm going to make a substitution for this P term. I'm going to place 100 minus Q, and that 100 minus Q is all being multiplied by Q. And then we're going to subtract out our cost, minus 1600 for fixed cost, minus 20Q for our variable costs. Simplifying some things here, this Q times 100, and then this Q times a negative Q. We're left with this right here, 100q minus q squared. And now I'm going to take 100q and subtract from it 20q, leaving us with 80q right here. And now we can take a derivative. We can take the derivative of the profit function with respect to q, the quantity of output. And we're going to set that result equal to 0, so that's where the equal 0 comes from. So the derivative of 80q is 80, and the derivative of minus q squared is just minus 2q. And this minus 1600 is treated as a constant, and the derivative of a constant is 0. Now we're going to solve this equation, this 80 minus 2q equals 0. We're going to solve it for q. Dividing through by 2, the profit maximizing output for this firm is 40 units. To get the profit maximizing price, we're going to take this 40 units and plug it into the inverse demand. So 100 minus Q, where Q is 40, we have a profit maximizing price of $60. And let's check the firm's profit at this profit maximizing outcome. So one way we can do that is we can take this Q equals 40 and plug it into this profit equation on top here. So where we have Q, we're going to replace that with 40. And I do that down below here, and we see that this firm is indeed making zero economic profit, just a normal rate of return. Now let's look at this graphically. Here's going to be the graph of what we just found. Got the demand curve, marginal revenue curve, we got the marginal cost curve, and we have this downward sloping average cost curve. So let's look at the graph solution. First thing we're going to graph is the inverse market demand. You'll notice here that if Q equals 0, price equals 100, so that is going to be the vertical intercept on this inverse demand curve right here. Q is 0, price is 100. Next thing you'll notice here, if we set P equal to 0 in this equation and solve for Q, Q will just equal 100, and that'll be our horizontal intercept. So we found where our demand curve intersects the vertical axis, which is the price axis, and the horizontal axis, which is the quantity axis. We're just going to draw a line between those two points to get our demand curve. Next thing we can graph is the marginal revenue curve. Um, here, you'll notice uh, once again that if Q equals 0, marginal revenue is 100. So marginal revenue has the same vertical intercept as this demand curve. Likewise, if marginal revenue is 0, setting marginal revenue to equal to 0 and solving for Q, you're going to get 50. So you'll notice here if we plug 50 into this equation, marginal revenue is 0. And marginal revenue will look like the demand curve with a slope that is twice as steep. So instead of marginal revenue intersecting at 100, it's going to intercept at a half of that value. Half of 100 is 50. So now let's look at marginal cost. Marginal cost is going to be constant at $20. How do I know that? We take our cost function and we take the derivative of it. That'll give us marginal cost. So the derivative of 1600 plus 20Q is just 20, and that's marginal cost. Marginal cost is horizontal at $20. Uh, the next thing to graph is average cost. Average cost is 
the cost equation divided by the quantity of output, so 1600 divided by Q, and 20Q divided by Q is just 20, so we're going to graph this equation here. And you'll notice here if Q is very small, average cost will be very big. So if Q is 10, for example, average cost would be 180. On the other hand, if Q gets bigger and bigger, average cost gets smaller and smaller. So if Q is, for example, 1600, average cost would be $21. So you get this nice downward sloping curve here for the average cost equation. One thing to note here is that the profit maximizing output of 40 units, average cost is $60. So evaluating average cost at the profit maximizing output, average cost is $60. And that just so happens to equal the price. So when price equals average cost, economic profit is zero. So just again, recapping, the firm maximizes profit where marginal revenue equals marginal cost. That occurs at 40 units of output. We plug this 40 units of output into the demand equation. Price is 60. If we also plug this 40 units of output into the average cost equation, we'll see that average cost is 60. So price equals average cost and economic profit is zero. All right, I'll stop here.